What's up you guys, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Penny Skincare and what I make of it. I've been testing it out for the last one month, I'd say on and off, but definitely for the last two weeks consecutively. So I'm gonna talk through all the products that I picked up in Penny's or some actually were sent to me. I got sent charcoal products, which I actually really liked, um, but I'll get into that in a moment. I'm actually gonna show you how I use each product like in a different separate clip because I'm going to film that tonight when I'm actually taking off my makeup and cleansing and moisturizing my skin so I'm going to show you how I use each product but I'm going to talk through all the products and what I've actually been making of them over the last like two weeks that I've consecutively been using them but I have like but the first time I did try them was well over a month ago and I've just been using them on and off. So the first product that I've been using, I've actually used this for a long time. So this isn't technically a new product for me, but I just saw it again and I haven't used it in a while because I was kind of on my Nivea game. I love Nivea and I've worked with Nivea for a long time. So when I was working with them and using their products, I kind of forgot about other skincare and stuff. But I saw this like, oh, maybe six weeks ago. And look how much is left of it. Like, that's pretty bad. I've used all that. No, it'll be about two months ago. I've used all that in two months. This is amazing. This is the Easy on the Eyes. It's a two euro eye makeup remover. It contains cucumber. It's dermatological, dermatologically tested. It's for all skin types and there's 150 milliliters in it. So I've been using this, especially when I stay in my boyfriend's house, this is quite convenient. So I've actually never stopped using this since I purchased it, so well over like two months of using this non-stop. I was a little bit afraid of using it, and you know the way sometimes if you use too many oil products around the eye, your eyes can be just a bit irritated from it. I thought that maybe that might happen, so that's exactly why I've been testing it, but I had no reactions to this product whatsoever. I found it actually quite soothing on my skin. I don't tend to use this anywhere else on my skin, but just through my brows would be the only area other than eyes and lips because I just find too much oil on my skin. You know, it's just not great. I have oily skin, and it's just not what I would recommend for all over the face, but for the eyes and lips and brows, yes, go for it. This would tackle Estee Lauder de Boer, I swear to God, because I did use this one time when I stayed in my boyfriend's house. It was the only thing I had in my bag. I was so stupid, I forgot to bring cleansers and stuff. So I had to use this to take my entire face off and I was wearing Estee Lauder that day and it absolutely tore through it. Like it just took it right off. It worked amazingly well. However, I just wouldn't do it again because I was kind of like, mm, not what you're supposed to use in your face. I'm kind of weird like that. But I really like this product. I highly rate it. I think it's a wonderful product. And yeah, like go out and get it for two euro. Like it's probably one of the best products I've tried from Pennies. And even though I've tried it for years, I still go back to it. Now this is what I have been using on my face. I've used like that much of it, which isn't that much considering like how big your face is and how much of the eyes products I've used and how small of an area your eyes are. But I have had a good try of this. It is a de, de oh, let's start that again. A detoxifying micellar water, and it has charcoal in it, and it's supposed to leave skin cleansed and refreshed, removes makeup and dirt and excess oils for all skin types, including oily and blocked pores. This has like a scent to it, which I can't explain. But if you know what charcoal products smell like, if you ever get like a charcoal mud mask or any charcoal products, you know the scent I'm talking about. It smells lovely. Like it really is. Now this does have a slight, slight perfumed scent to it. When I use skincare products, I try and avoid scented products because I just, I don't know, I just find that they, unless they're like natural, like things like tea tree or like rose scent or, you know what I mean? Like naturally occurring scents, but I try and avoid perfumes. But this worked fine on my skin, so I didn't have any reactions to it. My skin is the clearest it's been in a long time. Like I haven't had, I had like one breakout on my chin like maybe two weeks ago, but it was hormonal. Other than that, my skin is very clear and I used to get all these like little bumps on my forehead, which they've kind of like toned down a little bit. I use this on a cotton round and I just use it to take off any excess dirt from my face if I've no makeup on. If I do have makeup on, I use it just to initially remove the top layer of makeup because I do find when you use something like this on your skin and you do have makeup, it almost like spreads the makeup around. Does that make sense? It's kind of like it removes the top layer but you still have like remnants of foundation somewhere on your face or like powder products or whatever and you can just like you can almost still see them. So initially to take off the makeup, I will use that micellar water and then I will go in with the charcoal cleanse and purify mud to foam cleanser. This is amazing guys, I really like this 
really, really, really like this. It is black, obviously, because it's got charcoal in it. So it looks like that. Again, it has the charcoal fragrance and it's like such a nostalgic scent. I just really wish I knew what it smelled like. I don't know if it's glam glow or something. I'm not really sure, but it just has a really nostalgic scent for me. And every time I use it, I'm like, hmm, this reminds me of something. This is 350. And I highly recommend this. It is an absolutely amazing face wash. I really wanna feel like it's cleaning my skin and that's what I get from this. So either before or after I use that cleanser, I will take one of these makeup cleansing cloths and I've been using them to kind of like remove any excess topical foundation or anything that's I just missed. And these work wonders. If you guys have never tried these, you need to. They're four euro for a pack of three and they're just bomb.com. I love these. So I do rate this. I highly recommend you guys pick it up if you want a nice kind of foam cleanser it's a good option the other cleanser I've been trying as well but I'm not that keen on it it's from the Alex Dean her I think it is a collaboration I'm not really 100% sure but I saw this cleanser and I was like I want to try that as well it's a pore balancing cleanser again this foams up this is actually vegan and fragrance free so that's kind of like where I was going with that one however I kind of prefer the charcoal one this does foam up as well it has no scent to it but it just kind of has that soap scent the only thing I did find with this whilst using it is it kind of dehydrated my skin a little bit so I was kind of like wondering why my skin because I have naturally oily skin so I was wondering kind of why my skin was just a little bit dehydrated like you could actually see where the skin just looks dehydrated and I don't know if it's this or if it was the charcoal one skin's only been like that for the last while I'm kind of putting it down to this one I just I'm not sure what I think of it but the other the one I really like and it doesn't break me out or anything and I've been using that for a month straight I'd say yeah I've used that as a cleanser every night for the last month and I've just been using this for like the last like four or five days so the next product is this again from the Alex Steinher Steinman I'm not really sure like I said it's a collaboration you'll see them they're in pennies still I was even in there the other day and I saw them but this is the um pore balance anti-blackhead stick so you're supposed to rub this over your nose or anywhere you get blackheads, so the chin or whatever. And it has like little exfoliating beads in the top of it. They're very, very light. It's not like harsh or abrasive at all on the skin. And it's supposed to keep blackheads at bay. Blackheads are not a big issue of mine. So I'm not the best person to test this out. I didn't notice a huge difference really, to be honest. But if you do suffer from blackheads, maybe give it a go. Maybe like I might give this to my little cousin. I don't mean to like out her, but she just turned 12 and she's coming into that age where you're getting like the little blackheads and stuff like that. So I might give this to her and see does it work for her because for me, I'm not the best target. I, like I said, I don't suffer hugely with blackheads, probably because the second I see one, I'm like, out you go. To be honest, I'm actually going to give that to my little cousin because it's just not going to work for me. I don't have the need for it. The last two products, one I really liked, one I I'm still on the fence with. I haven't used it for long enough, but I'm still on the fence with. So the first one that I loved was the Pore Balancing Super Detox Clay Mousse Face Mask. The mousse part of it is a little bit kind of misleading because I thought it would like mousse up or bubble up. It's just literally like a normal face mask that you spread on the face. This is one of my favorite packaging for face masks. You know when you get like a face mask in a tub and you're like scooping it out with your finger? I know sometimes I use it with a clean makeup, makeup, what am I trying to say? Makeup brush. And I spread it out like the Glam Glow mud mask. I would spread that with a makeup brush. But this one is just really handy because it comes in a squeezy top. And you just apply this all over the face and it just leaves my skin looking amazing. I really like how this makes my skin look after I take it off. Like I used this last night. I'm gonna use it again tonight just to show you the demonstration. I probably should have filmed it last night. But I use this twice a week. So usually like on a Monday and then maybe on like a Friday I'll use it. And I just give my skin a little bit of a break in between. But I really have been liking this. So I've been using this for probably a maybe three weeks. And I really like the effects of it. I like how it comes off. I like how it leaves my skin. I like how it is really easy to remove. It doesn't dry out my skin or anything like that. I really, really do like this. And then the final product that I'm kind of a little bit on the fence about was their Pump and Glow Serum and Cream Moisturizer. It's not that I hated it. It's not that I loved it. I just, I'm really on the fence about it. I just, I love my um, Kiehl's moisturizer or my Clinique moisture surge I just love those moisturizers they're just my go-to I love how they make my skin feel I love how hydrated they make my skin feel and I have a Sunday Riley moisturizer as well that I really like as well but I just can't justify 80 euro for it 
it's just a lot of money. This, because it was so inexpensive, I think this was like a, maybe like four or five euro. I thought that it might be a great alternative just, you know, of a moisturizer when I just don't want to like splash out on like a 30 or a moisturizer or whatever, you know, if I was just in between picking one up, not that 30 euro is like a massive splash out, but I know like that skincare can, you know, creep up in price. I don't know. I lo like I don't dislike the consistency of it. I like the applicator, I must say. I'm just not mad about it. It reminds me more of the consistency you have of a body moisturizer. It doesn't smell or anything like that. It's just kind of a little bit thicker and I just didn't feel like it actually hydrated my skin. So as thick as it was, I feel like it didn't get that much hydration from it. So for me, I like my skin hydrated, but not oily, obviously, because I have naturally oily skin. So I'm just gonna get oily anyway, but I want my skin to feel hydrated. At the moment, it feels a tiny bit dehydrated. So I just feel like this moisturizer wasn't really doing what my other moisturizers do, and it's all I've been using for the last three weeks. So I'm kind of putting it down to this, considering I've been drinking tons of water. I'm kind of putting it down to this, but it could be any of the other skincare products. I didn't break out, that was the best thing. My skin looks good. The only issues I'm having is like I said, my skin's a bit dehydrated, so it could just be the change in the weather. However, I didn't feel like my skin was really, really hydrated with this. You just know when a moisturizer is hydrating your skin, you just feel it on your skin and you just feel like your skin is, like it's just drunk up the beautifulness of the moisturizer. You know what I'm saying? It just feels hydrated whereas I didn't feel it felt hydrated with that moisturizer that's my only complaint so guys I hope that helped with the skincare products I really like penny skincare I must say like for the price of it it's absolutely amazing and it probably is one of those things you know when people say like oh they're all made in the same factory and they're just in different packaging it's probably like that with penny skincare because I just feel like it's really really good the only thing I kind of stay clear of with the skincare is anything um abrasive on the skin so like any like exfoliants and stuff like that I haven't really delved into using any of them lately so I might give an exfoliant a go I think that was the only thing I was kind of missing from this skincare routine so I might try one of them and just kind of give you my two cents on it but for the whole skincare routine and everything I actually really enjoyed it and I probably continue using loads of the products especially the cleanser this cleanser the mud foam cleanser I loved that and definitely the face mask they were like my two standout favorite things other than the eye makeup remover, but I mean, that's like a staple in my skincare routine now for the rest of my life, because it's like one of the best makeup remover products ever. Anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the little demo of me using the product and that you know a little bit more about them. And definitely let me know if you pick up any of the products and which ones that you're loving the most. I will talk to all you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.